We've already spoken about a couple ways that we can get the flux through this loop to change, and we can just define flux again right here. Flux is magnetic field dotted into area, and that's the same thing as the magnetic field times the area times the cosine of the angle between them. And you also know that if there is a change in flux, and some amount of time, then you're going to get an induced voltage. And there also has to be uh, negative N multiplied in there. Let's see if we can slip that in there. Negative N times d phi dt, it should be a derivative really. And you can use, sometimes the magnetic field's not going to be a uniform everywhere. You can use the average magnetic field here to find the flux going through the loop. So if it's really big here and zero here, you could find the average and <clears throat> work with that, that'd be fine. We talked about changing the magnetic field by, well, changing the flux by changing the magnetic field, like bringing a magnet near it or a magnet out of it or having the loop itself leave a magnetic field or enter it. You could also change the area. If this loop gets smaller, if the loop gets smaller, then the flux through it, <coughs> excuse me, will decrease. So I want to think of a clever way of showing that, and I need a light bulb here. Light bulb. And here it is. I'm gonna ask Newton to hang on to that. Hang on to it for me. Okay, there. So he's gonna hang on to that light bulb, and we've got a wire coming up here, and a wire coming up here. And this is actually up. It's very important that that's up, and then gravity is pointing that direction. All right, so I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna tell you there are two things going on here. First of all, there's a magnetic field. And the magnetic field is going out of the page. Lots and lots of magnetic field. Lots and lots of magnetic field. Draw the magnetic field with me. Go on. And maybe there's magnetic field out here too. Just so we're convinced that there's uniform magnetic field all over the place. Magnetic field, magnetic field. <clears throat> there we are. Now I've got this clever contraption that I can mount on these wires that are vertically up. And it is a cylinder. And the cylinder is going to be here, and it conducts electricity. I mean, only if you've got electricity can, to conduct through it. But the, the key point is this wire goes through and touches the cylinder. So this cylinder is solid, and it will want to slide because gravity is acting down on it. So there are a few ways we can look at this. But one thing that's really cool, get out of the way, Newton. One thing that's really cool is this light bulb will light as this bar falls. And in fact, um, the bar will speed up because initially there's no force on it except for the force of gravity, but it will soon reach a terminal velocity. And we'll think about that for a minute. We could in fact find its terminal velocity probably will depend on the resistance of the light bulb. Let's see if we can get ourselves an R right there. All right, <clears throat> now, if the bar is falling, then the area is changing, and the area is changing in a complicated way. I don't wanna go through this really carefully right now, but I, I guess my first point is, the velocity of the charges in this rod is down. So we don't even have to look at it in terms of Lenz's law yet. We'll do Lenz's law next. I'm gonna look at it totally old school. There are charges here and they're moving in a magnetic field. So as the rod falls, the charges go down and which charges are free to move? Is it the positive charges or the negative charges? Of course it is the negatives, but we could consider, well, let's do it, let's do the negatives. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna say the velocity is down and I'm gonna say the magnetic field is out, so I have to do this. So the force on the negative charges will be that direction. Let's label that. So I'm saying the force on the electrons. So which direction will the current go? Well, the current wants to go, wait a second, is this wire moving in the magnetic field? No. Is this wire moving in the magnetic field? No. Is this wire moving in the magnetic field? No. But the force on the electrons is that direction, and so they want a current to be going the opposite direction. So I'll say that a current will go this direction through the circuit. 
let's see if we can maybe gloss over the whole fact that the protons aren't moving, the electrons are moving, and say something like, what if we say the velocity of the protons is also down, because all of this wire is moving down, and then we say the magnetic field is out of the page, and I'm using my right hand, and I see that the force on the protons is that direction, and we could pretend, Benjamin Franklin style, that the protons are moving, and we'll get a current also that's counterclockwise. As the current, though, is counterclockwise, you see that the current is going through a resistor, and you can find the power of that circuit. It's gonna be I squared times R, isn't it? Oh, I squared times R. And the current has something to do with the force on the electrons, but that's fine, that's fine. We'll go into more detail later. I just wanna to touch on these sorts of things to show you what's awesome about this situation. There will be a force upward on the rod because of the fact that it's using energy to light the light bulb. So we'll talk about that in more detail later. My next thing to discuss. What do I want to say? I think I wanted to say something about, oh shoot, it escapes me. No, we can come up with something to say. What I want to say is that we can also view this as the area decreasing. So if I say that the loop sees less and less flux coming this way, we'll call it out, there's less and less flux out of the loop, the loop will try to make a magnetic field that reminds itself of that hamburger it was once eating. It reminds itself of the field that is pointing out that it used to have. It wants to get that field back. So it makes a current in a direction that will give it back the field that it's losing. And that is, right hand rule secret, watch it, that direction, counterclockwise also two ways to justify a counterclockwise current as the rod is falling. The next video will go into more detail on this problem, and I think you'll like it.